Marriage is more than the joining of lives. It is the joining of hearts. It is the joining of purpose. Many books have been written to explain how to have a successful marriage. But they're just somebody's opinions. Beginning today, you too will write your own book. It will be what you make it as God blesses you in your lives together. And it's just like a dream. In the book of Ephesians chapter 5, we read the original instruction manual for husbands and wives. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. Oh, I know, no, no, that you're all I need. Maybe one day we'll have a family. And when brown hair turns to gray, you'll still be beautiful to me. You're gonna I'll Scott, take you, Elena. I, Elena, take you, Scott. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, or for poorer. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until we are separated by death. Until we are separated by death. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. I give you my promise. I give you my promise.